Are you having intestinal trouble? Are you having high blood pressure issues? Are you having constipation? Magajo, this video is not gonna be monetized by YouTube. Why? <laughs> You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Because it's all about health issues and they, the AI listens to all of that and say that you're dispensing advice, which we're not. We're not dispensing medical advice, right? Say that, please. No, we're not expensing. Dispensing. We're not dispensing medical <laughs> advice. <laughs> we just want to share with you. Is this thing okay, Joe? Does it look like it needs to be cleaned, the lens? We just want to share with you guys some issues that Joe was dealing with. Right, Boo? Right. All right, so... A month ago, Joe went to the doctor because he was having really bad sinus-related issues. He suffers from this. A lot of his family members suffers from sinus-related issues too. So they took his blood pressure, of course, and it was high. It was like 143, I think. I wish I had written down the number somewhere. I'll cut away to it. 143 over like 90-something? Mm -hmm. Shoot, I should have... Do, do I have that written down somewhere? Wait, maybe I have it on my phone. So, um... Tell him what the doctor said when your blood pressure was high like that, Joe, while I look for it. 141 over 93. Oh, go me, go me. <laughs> June the 28th. The doctor didn't think that your blood pressure was that high for real, for real. She thought that maybe um, the pain that you were in caused it to be a little bit elevated. But even so, he, she wanted him to monitor it for the next month. Well, for two months. Two months. And then... Uh, he, she would bring him back in and see what was going on to see if he needed to go on blood pressure meds So I bought a blood pressure monitor and We started to use it and I'm doing a review for Amazon All right So I'm gonna have that on my influencers page if you guys want to buy this one and we were taking it You know steady but sporadic right we weren't doing it every day every day every day but I'm like sit down do your blood pressure and It was coming good see Sunday, July the 2nd at 8.30 a.m. It was 127 over 82. Then Monday, July the 3rd at 8.41. You, you kind of have to take it every day at the same time. 121 over 82. So all those are considered normal, even though the number you may have heard is 120 over 80. And it says 127 and 121. It's still not above 130 for the top number. And what freaks them out more to me, it seems like the bottom number. If that bottom number is over 85, they get, they get real crazy. The doctors, I mean. So his was 82, 82, right? And then we skipped a few days. Then Friday, July the 7th, it was at 9.15 in the morning because we had kind of forgotten. It was 124 over 81. So you see that bottom number coming out, right, boo? And then um, uh, July the 10th was the last time I took it at home and it was 128 over 84, right? Right. Right? All right. So it is coming down to more... I want... I want that 80 something, 81, 82, 85. I want that number to be under 80. For me, for me, right? For me to feel happy. So, Joe didn't have a whole lot to change in the way of his eating, right? Because you weren't overeating salt, right? Maybe he was overeating some carbs because he likes his grilled bun and his powder bun, right? Oh, by the way, guys, I'm Barbara and this is Joe. Welcome to the channel if you're new. My mission in life is to teach people how to cook. Why? Because I believe if you know how to cook, you'll change your wealth and your health. Your wealth because you're going to save money because you're buying stuff to cook at home. So you get more already out of the money. And then your health because you can, you know, put what you want to put in your own food and not have to depend on people out there in the street cooking. They put too much salt, too much sugar, too much fat, too much everything. MSG. So we didn't have a lot to change in the way of eating, except I think I added more vegetables to his diet, right? And he added back in his sorrel. Joe Hoyer said a word. I said sorrel, but everybody say I'm saying it wrong. Sorrel. So, <laughs> he don't know either. Uh, um, Mexican people call it Jamaica, and it's spelled like Jamaica, right? But Caribbean people say sorrel, sorrel. I don't know. Sorrel. You I guys, it is, see I what it is it, right here? I call it sorrel. He says sorrel. He say totally wrong. <laughs> So anyways, he went and bought it at the store. Before the pandemic, they used to sell it by the pound, right? And you would shovel it out of that big barrel in the stores. And it's kind of pricey per pound, but you get a lot because it's super light, right? It's the hibiscus. So uh, since the pandemic, they package it off in a bag. Thank you, Jesus. I don't like them things in them barrel, you know, Joe. Mm -hmm. You go and you find them Mexican sugar and stuff and the cinnamon and stuff. I don't, I don't buy them things. Mm -mm. And the bolios, the bread, no, I ain't do that thing. 
in that thing, get the tongs? No, anybody could do so. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tongs. Put the tongs at it. <laughs> so anyways, he started to do it since the end of last month. Today is, actually today is August the 1st that I'm taping this. July ended. Yes, Leo season started. Well, it started a while back, but my birthday is in 13 days. What is we gonna do, boo? You have a birthday? My grandpa used to like to ask me that. You have a birthday? I'm like, yes, grandpa, everybody has a birthday yeah, if they're born. Like and he goes, I thought you were hatched. Uh, huh? you like yeah, but these people like tell you, I thought you were hatched, like the, like the rooster over there. <laughs> So anyways, he bought it. Tell, tell him how you make it, Joe. You put a couple, well, you boil the water first. Boil the water, Joe. You can seep the water. I mean, you don't have to boil it if you just get it. But I boil you, it. Uh, but it's not going to work if you get the water hot from the faucet, right? It's better if you boil it? Better if you boil it. Okay. So he boils the water in a little pot and then shuts it off. Then he puts like two to three handfuls. Put, Correct me when I'm wrong. I put two big handfuls. Uh, look how big his hand big. See? Yeah. Look, put it. His hand way bigger than mine's. So if you are a girl like me with small hands, three handful. Man like Joe, two big handful. And he puts it in the hot water and sometimes he will grate some ginger in it for flavor because he's not gonna add any sugar because he don't wanna get diabetes, right? And he'll let it steep at least one hour, but honestly, 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 don't tell nobody because they're gonna watch the old videos and not this one because we're doing new videos now, right? We're into lifestyle and cooking. So he lets it steep overnight. Shh, don't tell the others. I know they're not watching I'm the videos. Get, <clears throat> I'm trying to get everything out of it. That's why I just let it steep for overnight to mm -hmm. make sure I get everything out of it. The next day, do you put it through a cheesecloth or through a strainer? Well, I just use a strainer. Just a regular fine mesh strainer because, and uh, he puts it through it. This huh? stuff don't have a lot of grounds on it. Nothing. Okay, so it's not fine and, and groundsy. Is that a word, groundsy? I don't know. Okay, we just made it a word. So anyways, he strains it. He puts it in beautiful bottles. This time he put it in the Manischewitz wine bottle. Everybody thought we had wine. <laughs> so we have wine. So he put it in the in pretty bottles and he puts it in the fridge. And then every day, is it twice a day or once a day? No, once a day. Once a day in the morning, he'll drink what? Eight ounces? I guess I just take good, good, good. I, th I see when he pours it in a glass, it looks like a good eight ounces. And he drinks it till it's done. And the amount that he makes will last him about a week. And then normally he takes a week off from not doing it and then he'll mix it up again and he'll go another week so within the month he does it two two weeks out of the month right yeah, he there. he wasn't doing it for a while so that's why i'm like go back to your thing go back mm -hmm. to your thing sometimes so, I just leave it alone for an eight a good three months or so then i go back mm -hmm. again but now you're gonna stay on it yeah why because i went to go do some investigation i have the computer right here and i said what is sorrel good for i didn't know that google's was gonna know what sorrel was i thought he was gonna say what is that right it says it improved digestion sorrel is a good source of fiber which helps to promote healthy bowel movements and digestion it may help to reduce constipation and can also help in preventing heart disease by reducing cholesterol so anyways the next thing they said about sorrel on the internet is that sorrel is used for reducing sudden and ongoing pain and swelling inflammation all of us they say america is the inflammation nation there's a book with that name i, I need to buy that book and read it it truly is the inflammation is everything that you have that's wrong with you is inflammation i promise you and again we are not dispensing medical advice we are not no doctors we don't play one on tv we don't really even know nothing see what we're doing looking up googles and telling you what we're doing to improve our lives you could do it if you want to or don't do it if you don't want to all right so inflammation is asthma psoriasis the different forms of arthritis everything. um lu lupus right right mm -hmm. the sinus issues everything that you have when you have pain you have inflammation all right so anyways the next thing it says sorrel uh, is used for on i was reading that already ongoing pain and swelling inflammation of the nasal passages joe you slip up you know me i have no sinus issues if you were taking this thing regularly okay um and respiratory tract for treating bacterial infections along with conventional medicines and for increasing urine flow as a diuretic sorrel is also an ingredient in the herbal cancer treatment is i don't know how to say that word is isiac is it i gotta look up that word and tell you how to say it. go ahead so that's the same thing what, you tell you. Mm -hmm. what you don't know hurts you what you what you don't know can truly hurt you that's true i promise you mm-hmm 
So maybe I'll put that on the thumbnail. What you don't know can hurt you, right? <laughs> yeah, so this thing looks like it's good for everything. Look, I'm going to start drinking it because you guys know I have issues with my digestive system and I wasn't drinking it before because my blood pressure is always on the lower side today. I took it and it was, what I tell you? What I tell you was the thing? I don't remember the top number, but the bottom number was 56. If it gets below 50, that's too low. What is but my blood pressure is always on the lower side, huh? What is my last one? Your last one? Okay, let's get the phone. So he went to the doctor on Friday because he developed a UTI. No, that is very rare for men. And they keep telling him that's very rare. They keep looking at him like he stepped out. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> so anyways, they're thinking that he passed a very small kidney stone, like a, a gravel sized piece of kidney stone. And it gave him a bladder infection, you know? So he got sick. Well, Thursday, I noticed that he slept longer than usual. Cause when he has his sinus issues, he'll put his little warm mask on and he'll sleep for like, well, not really sleep, shut your eye for like 45 minutes and then get up and he's gone again. He's like the Energizer Bunny, right? Well, that day he slept three hours and I kept waking him like, hey, hey, are you okay? Why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? He didn't have any fever or anything, but the next day, Friday, he woke up with the burning and it burns, 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 the ring of fire. These kids are trifling. My kids are awful. They were singing that song. <laughs> Ron was like, why is it burning? And so, I saw that he had a, a low grade temperature, so I took him to the doctor. They sent us to an offsite clinic in the Target Center because we're Kaiser members. And it was nice over there, but them two were kind of like frick and frack. The person who attended to us at the front desk, I don't know if he was a nurse, but the person who tend to you in the back, the lady was an, an NP, a nurse's practitioner. And I usually like nurses, practitioners, and physician's assistant because they usually try to give you a lot of information that the doctors don't got time to give you, right? But, um, they tested him they saw that he had an infection and they know that it was a bacterial infection but when they test you like that i guess they look for certain things and what they saw was uh white blood cells which tells there's an infection blood and um something called uh, it spells like it's spelled like nitrates but i think they say nitrates germane correct me if i'm saying it wrong and that usually tells them you have a bacteria right you have a bacterial infection then they have to grow the culture to see which one it is so that they can know that they're giving you the right antibiotic. So at that point, they're not going to send him to get, send him home to get sicker. So they gave him an antibiotic to take and I'll, I'll put the name down below. Cause I don't remember the name right now. Maybe I have it here. I don't know. I, I don't want to go look in the phone again. Anyways, um, that one is specifically for UTIs and bladder infections and so on. And you take it twice a day, morning and night. And he started taking it Friday evening. But then the fevers became roasting to the point that he had to go get in cold showers. And then um, the next day, the fever became low grade. So you had a good 18 hours of roasting fever, then low grade fever. And then still the burning. And he was drinking a lot of water, a lot of sugar-free cranberry juice, doing everything that he could do. You show me Gampan is Sorel. We didn't know. I'll tell you, what you don't know hurt you. <laughs> so anyways, Yesterday I took him back. So Friday when he went to the doctor, let me tell you his, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut away to and show you because I don't want to put too much of his information out here. So I have to make sure I block off things. So it says his blood pressure was 126 over 85, which they said was good. I tell you that 85 is that magic number for them for the bottom number. His weight was 183 pounds. His temp was 99.2. His BMI was 27.86. His height, well, height not going to change, 58. And his pulse was 88. And his oxygen was good at 100%. So then I took him back in yesterday because he said he doesn't feel like he's getting any better and he wanted to see if there was a different antibiotic they could give him or maybe something stronger for the pain than what he was taking which was azo you know that over-the-counter thing from walmart but we got the generic brand we didn't get the azo azo brand so let me read you his vitals from yesterday blood pressure listen to this listen 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 linda blood pressure is 113 over 77 boy the way you made it do what you blame it on not eating and just drinking. Oh my God, not eating. <laughs> the not eating, the weight gone from Friday the 28th of July to uh, yesterday, July 31st, from 183 to 175. Now that is truly from not eating. Child, this man, I knew, I'm like, eat something. I was like making him everything. I'm telling you, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted while I'm making this video, but I'm praising God, Joe. Folks, the minute I, I get sick, 
I don't have no appetite. I don't know why, but any any time I get sick. But boo, when I get sick, I don't have no appetite either. Yeah. But I gain five pounds when I'm sick. How do you lose eight pounds in two, three days? You sickening. <laughs> this is not the way you want to do it. But honestly, to lose weight, I believe it all hinges around cutting your calories. So we took a quick break to go change out the battery on the camera and that gave me an opportunity to get the sorrel and my sunglasses. Joe, how are you sitting there without your sunglasses, babe? Joe, it's in my eyes, look. <laughs> so Joe used my four quart pot and he got enough to fill this bottle, fill this bottle, see it's done, he already drank this one. And he said uh, two cups of the measuring cup, that's what he got out of it. So look, oh this bottle's so pretty. It says Joe Cold Drink. Oh, it has his name on it, look. Mm -hmm. Somebody gave this to him. So what I want to do is taste it. Joe already drank his this morning, but I wanted to taste it because I think I only tasted this thing once. It's really not my cup of tea. Don't put too much. Don't put too much? But now that I've learned how important it is, I'm going to really start drinking it, okay? Joe says he does go to the bathroom frequently when he drinks it, right? Let's pose, let's pose with it. Come on, lean forward, let's close my thumbnail. Let me see what's going on. Ready? What kind of pose you put back there? <laughs> let's taste. Well, should I glug or should I sip? Sip it and Sip and see. Okay. It want to taste like Ribena, but Ribena has sugar in it. I mean, you can put sugar in if you want to. But why? You're going to like get diabetes after that. It's not, it tastes kind of um, berry-ish. Berry-ish. Like the way how cranberry juice tastes without the sugar. Mm -hmm. Like that kind of way. It's not bad. It really has a, a that whiny taste afterwards. The longer you sit it there, like it gets more kind of whiny. I've seen people do this before where they put uh, like champagne in it to make that. I don't know what that drink is called. I don't know alcohol. <laughs> Whatever drink you do with some type of orange juice and you champagne. Put sugar in that. Remember the last one that Ozzy gave us? I wouldn't want to put the sugar in it though because mm -hmm. I want to drink it often and I don't want to add back sugar to my diet. We already have enough sugar in our diets. So this thing is good. This video could have gone all over the place. But I decided to go ahead and stick with this topic, the, um, the sorrel, okay? So we always knew that it brought your blood pressure down, but now I learned today that it does so much more, so much more for health issues. And so because I don't like to do anything daily, I'm gonna do this where I do it like Joe. Drink it the week, Joe's drinking it, pause a week, drink it again. So in the month, we've had it two weeks out of the month. You saw, I had receipts inside. You saw where his blood pressure was that one day, which I think it was a little bit elevated because he was in pain, but still it was pretty close to the border. And you saw where it was yesterday when he went back. I'm, you know, I'm not glad that he's sick, but I'm glad we had reasons to go back to the doctor so that we can have this evidence. So you can do what you want to do. Like I said, we are not trying to push anything on you because there are still things that we are learning. But here you have it, right? some data some data anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video please like if you've liked it share it out for me because that's how we get out there into the algorithm i'm enjoying doing my lifestyle type videos like this with joe or even when joe can't be in them sometimes and we will see you guys in the next video au revoir with my hands lifted high my mouth with yeah, yes, 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 sing it, baby. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord.